Hi everyone, <clears throat> Tuesday the 21st of May, I'm back from camping, um, nursing a three day hangover for the last few days, <laughs> but you're in for a treat today guys because I have got you up at the allotment and if I'm remembering rightly, I could be wrong, this is the first time I've done up the allotment with my new iPhone um, in HD. Okay, right, quick show you what I'm up to now. Uh, peppers, doing really well, put them in some really big pots. Um, so they're doing fine, I think um, they are normal bell peppers. And six Corno di Toro Rosso. Um, aubergines are doing good, six of them. I'm leaving that space in the corner for my um, cucumbers. I've got some chilies, got chilies everywhere. Um, I've got the top as well. I'm going to have to put a little bit of a steak in them. They're not going to be massive plants, but they're going to be okay. Enough for me. Um, uh, the grapevine starts to come on. I've just pinned that all down, tied it all up a little bit so that starts spreading a bit. My celery, which is going out, my pickling gherkins. Um, yeah, so that's the greenhouse. Okay, so I'll take you outside. HD at last. Some proper DVD. That's what I feel like doing now every time I go back on YouTube and watch my old stuff. <laughs> I feel like re recording it all, but how can I? Okay, carrot bed. A few little bits coming up, not too much. Um, these are my Picasso potatoes, they're coming up. The Valo potatoes, two rows of. Um, pink fur apple, Charlotte. Um, International Kidney, Rainford Royals as we call them. I've got two rows, uh, no, four rows of, no, two rows of Golden Globe beetroot and two rows of um, Globe 2. Now, we're in a debate on the site here now whether, to, whether these runner beans are a dwarf or full size. Because I got them off one of my neighbours and we can't remember. He can't remember. I can't remember. Because I used a few last year. But we'll see. If anyone's got any clues, I'll give you a bit of a close up maybe. Got flowers on already. Um, runner beans, Lady Die. They're doing really well. A lot of people said on here that I was a bit early with them. But I think they're doing okay. Doing really well. They're going to climb up my frame, obviously. Looks a lot better with this camera. Okay, I've got a few rows of radishes coming up. I don't want to bore you with stuff like that. But, um, these are... Um, oh no. You know, hang on a minute, what have I done here? Oh no, it's right, French bean... The Lady, the lady Die Runner beans. And these are French beans, these are Cobra. And again, these have done okay. Little bits of new shoots coming up at the top there. You can see them. Um, it was a bit touch and go whether they'd survive or not. I've got the three. Um, wigwams. And I'll tell you what. Who's having rhubarb crumble on Sunday? Mwah. Look at all that. And do you know what? We thought we'd lost it. We thought we had crown, uh, club rot. Clown, crown rot. That's it. Um but we've got stacks of it. So I'm gonna take some home on Sunday. Can't pull too much because it's first year in that position. Look at that one there. Doing really well. Now then, I've been hammered by pigeons and this looks terrible. This is not what my allotment's about. I'm gonna, you, you probably won't see this again next year because I'm gonna build some kind of frames. Uh, one for the carrots to keep the carrot root fly off and one for the garden beans, garden peas to keep the pigeons off because all these beds are exactly the same size, but this just does not look good. But it's gonna do the job for this year. But what I'm going, because they've just been hammered. And someone told me they would be, get some netting on, I was like, oh, they'll be fine. Oh, they wasn't. So I've been told that they will come back, but I've got to get them covered now. So that's what I've done. Um, but like I say, I'll build some kind of frame for it for next year. But a three by two. And then I can move that frame around with my crop rotation. 
Um, this bed's for the leeks. Um, onions are doing really well, looking lovely and green. And, um, spot on actually, I've done a bit of weeding while I've been over here. They're doing really well. Um, garlic's flying along. That's yet to be seen whether it does split into cloves because I did only put that in. Started it in the greenhouse in January, as you all know, and then planted it out in April. Um, the um, Golden Sun shallots, again, flying up Doing really well. Well, spot on. And that is it. Obviously, the beetroot in there, that bed is for the celeriac and the celery, and that bed is for. Nero di Toscana and the little summer red cabbages. Um, nothing else happening, I don't think. Oh, let me show you quickly. That's a net. This is my um, two rows of fennel bulb. There's little bits coming out again, I won't bore you with that. But again, the Swiss chard started getting eaten as well. A little bit. And I put a net on that. Okay, so that's it. I'll speak to you all soon.